So let's talk about Cult of Chucky right now. Big D's entertainment rankings and reviews. So greetings my fellow YouTubers and welcome to Big D's entertainment rankings and reviews. My name's Dual, better known to you as the Big D. And I apologize for the way I'm sounding, I've got some science issues. But for now, I'm getting to my final Chucky review. As I'm just reviewing only the original series with Brad Dourif as the voice of Chucky. With the Chucky series premiering tonight on USA and Sci-Fi, which I'm ready for. I'm proud to bring to you my review of the seventh installment of the Chucky slash Child's Play franchise, Cult of Chucky from 2017. Now, if you haven't seen my reviews for the other Chucky Me's, click on that card. There we go. That way you can catch what you might have missed or see them again if you wish before going into this video. Now, like the last film, the film was distributed by Universal Pictures Home Entertainment and produced under their Universal 1440 Entertainment subsidiary. The film was directed by Don Mancini once again, who directed the previous two installments, and he also wrote the story, and was produced by David Kirshner, who worked on the series, and Ogden Gavansky. The film features Brad Dorf once again as Chucky, along with his daughter Fiona, returning as Nika, plus we have Jennifer Tilly back as Tiffany, and Alex Vincent as Andy. Plus several others, including Michael Tyrrellt and Adam Hurtig. Anyway, yep, so why don't we get into this story? Now, this takes place four years after the events of the last film, which was Curse of Chucky. An adult Andy Barkley still has the head of Chucky, which is conscious and deformed after being repeatedly tortured by Andy in retribution for his crimes. Meanwhile, the wheelchair-bound Nika Pierce has spent the past four years in a mental institution after being framed by Chucky for the murders of her family. After therapy, she now believes she was responsible for the murders and that Chucky was a manifestation of her psychosis. Dr. Foley, Nika's doctor, has her transferred to the medium security Harrogate Psychiatric Hospital. In group therapy, Nika meets Malcolm, a man with multiple identity disorder, Angela, an old woman who believes she is dead, Claire, a woman who burned her house down, and Madeline, a patient who smothered her infant son to death. Dr. Foley introduces a technique involving a good guy's doll. Most of the patients are unsettled by the doll except for Madeline, who treats it as her baby. Nika is visited by Tiffany Valentine, the legal guardian of her niece, Alice. She is devastated when Tiffany informs her Alice has died. Apparently from a broken heart, Tiffany leaves Nika a good guy saw, which she claims was a gift from Alice. That night, Chucky awakens and discovers Nika has attempted suicide. The next morning, Nika finds that her wrist had been stitched up with a message stating, not so fast, she discovers Angela has been killed, leaving the message, Chucky did it. After realizing that Valentine was the last name of Charles Lee Ray's girlfriend, Nika understands Chucky is real. Fearing Madeline is in danger, Nika and Malcolm try to warn her. However, Madeline throws both the doll and Malcolm into an empty grave. The Orleys rescue Malcolm. Claire attempts to get rid of Chucky by dumping him down the garbage chute, but he bites her arm. The Orleys sedate Claire, believing that she was harming herself. Chucky then kills Claire by launching a compressed air tank into the skylight, causing glass shards to decapitate her. Annie learns about the murders online and realizes that Chucky has somehow managed to transfer his soul into multiple bodies at once. In a private session with Foley, Nika agrees to be hypnotized in order to access any repressed memories about her involvement in, mur in the murders. Foley, who has been sexually abusing Nika, is hid from behind by Chucky. Foley believes Nika is the one who assaulted him, but is willing to keep quiet in order to blackmail her for sexual favors. 
Malin smothers her good guy's doll with a pillow, forcing her to confront the repercussions of her child, real child's death. Or at least bury the doll in place, well, well in order to placate, plus I, I can't pronounce it, Malin. Determined to end the carnage and save Nika, Andy commits himself into the institution by assaulting one of the security guards. <coughs> Excuse me. Carlos, a nurse, delivers a package to Foley, another good guy's doll. Malin is visited by her own doll, which has risen from the grave. And she allows the doll to kill her so she can finally be with her baby. Foley attempts to assault Nika, but is knocked out by one of the Chucky dolls. Two dolls are now alive due to Malin's doll splitting its soul inside a Foley's doll. One of the dolls awakens, the short-haired doll Andy had sent with a weapon inside. The three Chuckies reveal that the original Chucky found a voodoo spell on the internet, which allowed him to separate his soul into multiple host bodies, and thus creating a cult. Alice was one host, but she was killed in a physical altercation. All the dolls then killed Carlos in front of Nika. Now to the ending. You know the procedure. Five seconds to stop this video. Go to the description box below. If you've seen the movie already, continue on. Here we go. Okay, you've been warned. Tiffany returns and kills a security guard by slashing his throat. Foley's Chucky doll transfers his soul into Nika, giving her body the ability to walk again. She then stomps on Foley's head, using high heels that Foley had given Nika earlier, killing him. She stumbles upon Malcolm, who confessed to killing Nurse Ashley, and is subsequently killed by Madeline's Chucky. Andy's Chucky, the short-haired one, attacks Andy, but Andy reaches into the doll's chest and pulls out a gun he had planted there. He shoots the doll and stumps to take, killing him. Nika appears and taunts him. He tries to shoot at her, only to discover that he has no ammunition left. The institution is sent into lockdown, resulting in Andy being locked inside his cell. When Andy's Chucky defeated, Madeline's Chucky goes into doll mode, and Nika, possessed by Foley's Chucky, ends up escaping. She reunites with Tiffany before driving off together with the Tiffany doll, which is revealed to be alive as well, sharing a portion of Tiffany's own soul. And that's the end of the film, but there's a post credit scene where Andy's former foster sister, Kyle, enters Andy's house, having been sent by Andy, implied to have escaped from the hospital, to continue torturing the original Chucky's severed head while he went to save Nika. End of story for realsies. So what did I think of Cult of Chucky? Well, it's it's reasonable and what have you. It's it's good in some ways. I mean, some of the kills were pretty good. I mean, like the decapitation. I think I think it did have some issues with um the blood and what have you being CGI and what have you. I think if it was, then that's kind of a downside. App. Um, let's see. Nevertheless, the film did get some pretty good responses, like the last film. But anyway, it's not too bad, but it's not quite one of my favorite films, though, of the franchise. But we still get good performances from Fiona Dorif and her dad. Alex Vincent wasn't too bad. It was good to see him as an Andy a little more. But apparently, um... His decision in there, in, in the last act, I wasn't too impressed with it, unfortunately. Oh, well. Michael Tierald as Dr. Foley wasn't too bad. And Am Hurig as M Michael, or multiple Malcolm. Yeah, not bad. Um, well, the rest was kind of hit or miss in my view. We do get Christina Lee back as Kyle and Jennifer Tilly as Tiffany. That wasn't too bad. We do get a brief appearance of Summer Howell as Alice. As for the rest, Elizabeth Rosen as Malin. Uh, okay, character. Grace Ling Kung as Claire. Yeah, not, not too bad. Um, Zach Santiago as Nurse Carlos. Okay. Um, um, Maria Stevenson Kerr as Angela. Yeah, kind of a little, I don't know. Um, let's see, and Ali Tatarin as Nurse Ashley. Yeah. Those were okay. 
But overall, from what I've seen, it's still pretty good. But the multiple Chuckies were kind of a little, I don't know, a little, um, well, it's hard to explain. But we do get another good score by Joseph Laduca, who did the music for the previous film. But I do like the setting, though, with this being the, um, be another film that I know that took place in the hospital. I know the original Halloween 2 took place in a hospital. And I actually did see um, um, this underrated film um, called um, Visiting Hours, which had Lee Grant and William Shatner in it. Yeah, that was okay. I don't know if I'll review that, though. But I, I will be re-reviewing the original Halloween 2 later in the month. But anyway, with everything said, with um, close to being good to fair cast, a, a, a good saying, a, a, a not, not too bad story, and a good score, would I recommend Cult of Chucky? I'd say maybe give it a one-time watch. I figure a one-time watch would be the thing to do. And if you're not satisfied with, well, I can't say I didn't try. But if you have seen Cult of Chucky, let me know what you thought about in the comment section below. If you liked the video, click the like button, subscribe to my channel, and be a part of the Big D Nation. Join me next time when I bring to you a review of the movie adaptation of the ever-popular kids' book series known as Goosebumps. Thanks for watching, and if you like this, you may want to check out some of these other films that I've done. In the upper left-hand corner is my original review of the Child's Play re remake from 2019, since I'm not re-reviewing that one. In the upper right-hand corner is my review for another film that kind of takes place in sort of a hospital-type place, but more of a mental institute or something like that, um, and that being... Um, Nightmare on Elm Street 3 Dream Warriors from 1987 or go to the bottom left hand corner and see another film that takes place in sort of a mental type institution in my spoiler free review of last year's The New Mutants and the bottom right hand corner is the button you can click to subscribe if you like rankings and reviews on movies, TV, music, video games, etc then I'm your guy thank you for watching, until next time I'm the Big D saying, see ya